Here's my uh, grain mill version 2.0. The uh, small blue motor I did have on there um, wasn't sufficient to grind uh, regular corn, dried corn, not malted corn, but regular corn. It's quite hard. Uh, I got this motor cheap off a sort of second hand site. Uh, it's got a reduction gearbox there, um, which is just quite, a, quite a significant reduction gearbox. Um, and that motor's a hell of a lot stronger. So um, I'm all, up, all geared up for corn. What I'm making at the moment is just uh, malting a, a heavily peat smoked barley. The cool thing about got the adjustable grinder here, I know it's not as fast as a roller mill that most, most beer brewers or even and distillers would use for uh, grain, barley. Uh, but you can adjust this thing uh, to make a finer grind if you want. You know, normally you want all your holes as big and intact as you can for sparging. I'm not doing that this time, I'm, I'm basically using an infusion uh, method, just making a big, a big cup of tea. Um, so I want to go mill a little finer, not so I'm getting tannins out of the holes, but um, milling the, the in the sperm, the, the centre of core of the, the starches, milling those a little finer so I get more surface area, so it infuses more thoroughly, more quickly. Um, what I did earlier, because this whole damn thing was around being able to do corn with this, this motor, is uh, I didn't have any regular stock corn or um, human grade dried corn, like I think it's called Yellow Dent in the States. So I went and bought uh, just a small packet of popcorn from the supermarket. And popcorn's hard as a hobs of hell, it's um, like milling rocks. Uh, and this thing did it fine. It initially started, I had it, the um, setting on there cranked right in and it started throwing out a fine milled corn flour. And I uh, wound it back a bit and um, I got out a, a quite a nice um, sort of coarse polenta, which is what I'd want for uh, making corn whiskey. So um, you can expect to see some corn whiskey going down very, very soon. But that motor's great. It's um, not even the reduction gearbox. It, it just means it will go all day, all night. It's not getting hot at all. Drives this nicely. Um, it's got a variable speed controller on there, uh, which means I can tweak all sorts of things: the, the start-up speed, slow-down speed, um, or the acceleration and deacceleration. So that's, that's quite a quite a neat thing to have there. It's a three-phase motor. I had an industrial sparky of a friend of mine um, wire it up so that it um, is running at 240 volts, which is our standard in New Zealand, rather than. 400 or whatever for uh, regular three phase. Um, so it's set down to, to run off a, a regular power cord. So it's still doing, even running at the 240, 230, 240, it's still doing a, a fantastic job. Had to get a couple more adapters rigged up. Uh, so that, that's, that's the thing compared to having this stuff running out of here. The problem I did have was the, the small blue motor was starting to heat up every now and again. I'd have to turn it off. It had like a cycle time associated with it. This thing just goes for gold. So yeah, expect to see uh, some uh, serious amounts of corn whiskey going down in the future. I'll have to get um, do some videos on using enzymes and stuff to convert regular corn. It's a lot cheaper than malted corn. If you're wondering what the uh, cardboard flaps that were on here were, just, um, the last week I'm doing, uh, occasionally you get little bits come firing out of the, the middle here that don't quite make the chute. Well, I need to weld a couple more sheet steel flaps on here, but um, cardboard mock-up is allowing me to work out exactly what I uh, need before I go ahead and weld any cut any steel and weld anything. That's looking about, about a good point there, nothing, nothing escapes.
you see this this is uh, the version 2 grinder working quite nicely um, so I tag this on the end I'm having to play with some rice and um, I'm not quite milling it to a flour I want to gelatinize it I'm milling it to almost like a like a, uh, a fine sh or like a, a table sugar about that, that level uh, just to increase the surface area uh, so when I gelatinize it it'll gelatinize faster and more evenly rather than to have, having to basically cook up a, a whole pot of rice and wait for the, um, the water, hot water to permeate all the, the rice grain it's far more surface area there this thing's working really well I, I did a lot of corn the other day and it was chugging away quite nicely Thank you.